Today marks 25 years since the crash of TWA Flight 800. The maintenance mistake that killed 230 passengers, TWA Flight 800, 1996. Aero accidents. The tragedy of TWA Flight 800 remains etched in the annals of aviation history as one of the deadliest accidents in the United States. On July 17, 1996, the Boeing 747-100 aircraft en route from New York to Paris exploded shortly after takeoff, claiming the lives of all 230 passengers and crew on board. This four-part series aims to delve into the maintenance mistake that ultimately led to this catastrophic event, shedding light on the series of events that unfolded, the subsequent investigations, and the lessons learned from this tragic incident. TWA Flight 800 departed from John F. Kennedy International Airport on a clear summer evening. As the aircraft climbed into the night sky, tragedy struck just minutes after takeoff. Witnesses reported seeing a bright flash of light followed by a massive explosion ripping through the sky and plunging the aircraft into the waters of Long Island's south shore. The crash sent shockwaves around the world and ignited a large-scale search and recovery operation. In the immediate aftermath, speculation ran rampant, with theories ranging from a missile strike to a terrorist attack. However, it soon became evident that the cause of the explosion was linked to a maintenance oversight. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board were tasked with piecing together the fragments of the aircraft. To uncover the truth. Extensive analysis revealed a critical maintenance mistake that had been made. The wiring for the fuel system, located near the center wing tank, had not been properly maintained. This crucial oversight allowed for the development of an electrical arc, which in turn sparked the ignition of the highly flammable fuel vapors present within the tank. The resulting explosion was catastrophic tearing through the aircraft and condemning all those aboard to a tragic fate. The maintenance mistake that led to the explosion of TWA Flight 800 served as a wake-up call for the aviation industry. It exposed vulnerabilities in maintenance procedures and highlighted the need for stricter oversight and adherence to safety protocols. In the subsequent parts of this series, We'll delve further into the details of this maintenance oversight, the ignition and explosion, the investigative process, and the enduring lessons learned from this devastating event. In the aftermath of TWA Flight 800's disaster, investigators meticulously reconstructed the aircraft, examining every fragment and detail to determine the cause of the explosion. It was discovered that a maintenance mistake played a significant role in this devastating event. The mistake involved the fuel system wiring located near the center wing tank, which housed a substantial amount of jet fuel. The wiring near the center wing tank was part of the fuel quantity indicating system, which provided information about the amount of fuel in the tanks to the flight crew. This system relied on various components, including wiring, sensors, and electronic modules to function properly. However, during the maintenance process, the wiring had been improperly maintained. The combination of degraded insulation and proximity to metallic surfaces allowed for an electrical arc to develop within the fuel system wiring. This electrical arc created a spark that ignited the fuel vapors present within the center wing tank. The explosion that followed was immediate and powerful, ripping through the fuselage and causing catastrophic damage to the aircraft. The investigation into the maintenance oversight revealed deficiencies in the training and guidelines provided to the maintenance staff were inadequate, failing to provide clear instructions on how to identify and address potential risks associated with the wiring. The maintenance oversight that led to the electrical arc and subsequent explosion of TWA Flight 800 highlighted the critical importance of meticulous maintenance procedures in aviation. It underscored the need for robust training, clear documentation, and strict adherence to safety protocols. 
In the next part of this series, we will explore the ignition and catastrophic explosion that resulted from this maintenance mistake, unraveling the devastating chain of events that led to the loss of all 230 passengers and crew on board. Don't miss out on the impactful stories and important lessons from Aero Accidents. Subscribe now and join us in our pursuit of aviation safety and understanding. As the electrical arc generated a spark, it found a highly volatile fuel vapor air mixture within the center wing tank. Jet fuel, being a flammable substance, vaporizes easily and can form a combustible mixture in the presence of air. The spark provided the necessary ignition source, igniting fuel vapors and triggering a rapid combustion process. The ignition within the center wing tank resulted in an intense explosion, generating an enormous amount of heat and pressure. The explosion propagated through the fuel system extending to other tanks and compartments within the aircraft. The force of the blast tore through the fuselage causing severe structural damage and shattering windows. The immediate impact of the explosion was devastating. The structural integrity of the aircraft was compromised and the cockpit and cabin experienced an intense and rapid decompression. The pilots were suddenly faced with a catastrophic situation, struggling to control the aircraft as it rapidly descended. The intense heat generated by the explosion further exacerbated the damage melting and distorting critical components of the aircraft. The combination of structural damage, decompression and loss of control made any attempts at recovery or emergency landing futile. The fate of TWA Flight 800 was sealed within moments of the initial ignition event. In the aftermath of the explosion, the wreckage of TWA Flight 800 fell into the waters off Long Island's south shore. The impact with the water was forceful disintegrating the aircraft into numerous fragments and scattering debris across a wide area. Recovery efforts were launched to retrieve the wreckage and initiate investigations to determine the cause of the tragedy. The investigation into this tragic event would delve deeper into the sequence of events, aiming to uncover the root causes and prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. One key aspect identified was inadequate training and supervision of maintenance personnel. The investigation highlighted the importance of comprehensive and ongoing training programs that emphasize the critical nature of maintenance tasks and the significance of adhering to proper procedures. Additionally, improved oversight and supervision were recognized as essential to ensuring compliance with maintenance standards. The investigation also emphasized the need for robust inspection and monitoring procedures to identify and rectify potential maintenance issues, regular inspections. As a result of the TWA Flight 800 tragedy and the subsequent investigation, significant changes were implemented within the aviation industry. Safety regulations and guidelines were revised to incorporate the lessons learned from this catastrophic event. Through these collective efforts, the industry has strived to ensure that the mistakes of the past are not repeated, ultimately enhancing aviation safety and honoring the memory of the 230 passengers and crew who tragically lost their lives on TWA Flight 800. Engage with us in the comments section below. Share your thoughts, insights, and personal experiences. Thank you for joining us on this meaningful journey.